Introducing green line charts. All right. The requirements for drawing a green line. Listen carefully because you, you'd be amazed how many people get this wrong. You do it on a monthly chart. It can show up on other time frames once you do it, but you draw it on a monthly chart. You draw it. You look at a stock. You draw it at the highest price bar. That means the highest monthly bar that once it has not been passed for three more bars or three more months. So it, it is a stock, basically, it is a green line tells you a stock that has reached an all time peak price and then rested for three months or more. Maybe it rests for five years. All right. Now, the only other thing is I sometimes use less for, for an IPO. Most of your IPO brace, breaks are like this the stock goes up, comes down, forms, goes sideways, and then breaks to an all time high. Okay. Now, where are the green lines on this monthly chart? I'll give you five seconds to think where you would draw them. Okay. First one. Yes. Here's a bar. Wasn't passed for three months. You draw a horizontal line. Okay. Where's the next one? Right here. It, it went above the green line, formed a new high, a new peak. Didn't pass it for three months. There's your second bar. Is this a green line up here? By the way, David did all these. No, it hasn't gone three months after this bar, after this peak bar. You have to have the rest after the, after the peak bar, okay? So what I'm going to suggest to you, and again, you don't have to do it. I'm going to show you how it works. Buy only stocks that are above their last green line top. Furthermore, if you can buy it at a green line breakout, when it cl closes above the green line for the first time, that's a great breakout place. I oftentimes will buy it. I will then say if it closes below the green, and I said close, if it closes below the green line, I get out. It's a failed green line. And by the way, remember I told you the complete turtle trader, and I told you um, that these people made like 50 or $60 million based on the learning they got from Richard Dennis and Bill Eckert. Well, basically, one of their rules was enter every trade as if it's going to fail. If you, if you do that, then you will know when it has failed, right? And you know what to do. You're ready. Okay. So... I want to show you some, I showed you these last year. So I just want to go, I'm going to go through this really quick. Here's Cisco, one of the great stocks. Look at the green lines. Green line breakout, 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 green line breakout. And then it forms a green line top. Guess how many people saw this, bought here, and now are just holding it forever. No, it's got a new green line in it. Get out. Wait for it to go through the green line. All right, that's Microsoft. I mean, that's Cisco. This is Microsoft. Green line breakout, green line breakout, green line breakout, green line breakout, green line, 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 forms a new top. Do you hold it from 2000 to 2015 until it has a new green line breakout? No. You get out. Apple, look at all the green lines. You can look at these later. You can even do this with gold, with commodities. Gold has been under its green line for a long time. All right? I wanted to show you Facebook. Because here's your break. Facebook, I remember when it came public, went up to about 45, came down, spent, what, almost a year doing this? Here's your green line breakout. Another one. All right, I want to show you, um, this is Square, which is now Block. Had a green line breakout. It failed. Here's, your, here's the IPO. Here's your green line breakout. Wham. Look at it. From 16 to 100. This is a monthly chart. Now formed the green line top. All right. So, I like to listen to this guy. He has really interesting tweets. His name is Richard Moglin. And um, he said this, and it saved me having to look at it, Richard in, in, um, in O'Neill. He said, so the first thing I learned about how to get superior performance is to not to buy stocks that are near their lows, but to buy stocks that are coming out of broad bases and beginning to make new highs. Now, that's O'Neill. Now, a lot of people, when they talk about this, they say new highs. Could he... Does, does he look for all-time highs? When, when David was asked this today, he said, no, it wasn't, didn't have to be a, an all-time high. It could just be a new high, I guess a new yearly high. So let's look at the evidence. In April of, I, these actually, I cut them out of the newspaper. April of 2012, o, um, William O'Neill began a new weekly series on the lessons to be learned from the market's biggest winners, all right? The new column is called How to Find and Own America's Greatest Opportunities, and it appears each Wednesday, okay? So there were a bunch of stocks 
that he, he showed, and this is an example, he would show you, by the way, a weekly stock, weekly. You know, sometimes when I look at all these daily charts, I say, oh my God, it's confusing. I know O'Neill did most of his work with weekly charts. Weekly charts are much easier sometimes to see the trend and to know what to do. So they, he would basically, here's Home Depot, and he would show um, when he got in, where his base was, here's his breakout. By the way, you see this new buy point? It's probably a green line breakout, all right? And then he would add all the way up when it formed new bases, okay? Now, I decided to take as many of these stocks as I could that he had written about and to draw green lines on them. So that's what we're gonna look at, okay? So, Skyline, O'Neill bought it here. So he bought it, first of all, it is above the green line, but if someone had been looking and running a scan on this stock back in 60, um, what, 67? Here's your green line breakout. You could have bought it at three. And I'm not criticizing him at all. I'm just trying to show you that the green line breakout worked and the rule about only buying stocks above a green line seemed to work for that one. Okay, notice the relative strength, by the way. All right, next, Home Depot. Well, Home Depot never formed, never formed a green line. It never rested for three months. I, I did, drew these in MarketSmith as best as I could. And you can see he bought it in, 80, in 81 and 82. But here another is an example. Here he is buying a stock at all-time highs that continue to go trade at all-time highs. This is Netflix. Here's your green line. Oh, here's your first green line breakout. You could have bought Netflix here after the IPO on the green line breakout. It did come back to touch, but look, it went from 8 to 40, a five-bagger. Then it formed a new green line top, broke above it, rode it for a while, then went higher. O'Neill bought it here when it was at an all-time high. Here's Qualcomm, green line breakout. Oh boy, I remember that stock going like that. Here's a green line breakout right here. What I'm trying to tell you is, if you don't have the time and the wisdom and the experience of a Bill O'Neill or David Ryan to go and look at charts every weekend and to look through thousands of charts and to, to try and find the prop of the cup and handle and all that, although David said it wasn't necessary to do that, why not just look for stocks trading at all times highs and that are breaking to them? That's what he's buying. Look at this. Apple, green line breakout here, went up here. So it did go, did double, and then it collapsed. Formed a new green line. New one here, new one here, new one here, new one here. O'Neill bought. Now, here's an example where O'Neill bought before it hit the green line. So, again, you have that expertise and you want to try and do it, you can do it. He did it, I mean, all right? But for the most part, you could wait for the green line and then just get in, all right? Here's um, Walmart. Here's your green line breakout right here. Another green line. And this is where O'Neill bought it, here, right above the green line breakout. Here's Monster Beverage, which we were looking at. Here's your green line. Here's your breakout. What a phenomenal ride from four to 200.